you own a certain number of shares of stock. The price drops 10% in one day. The next day, the stock gains 10%. Is the stock up, down, or back to where it started before the 10% drop? So it might seem like if a stock drops 10% and then gains 10%, the price should be back to where it started. But that's not actually the case, and let's show why. Let's just say the stock price is $100. If the stock price drops 10% to find the new price, we would take $100 and then subtract 10% of $100. To find 10% of $100, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. 10% is equal to 0 0.1, which gives us minus 0 0.1 times 100. Simplifying, we have 100 minus 0 0.1 times 100 is 10. 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. After the 10% drop in price, the stock price is now $90. And now the next day, the stock gains 10%, but it gains 10% on $90, not $100. So to find the stock price after the 10% gain, we begin with $90, and then add 10% of 90, which is equal to 0 0.1 times 90. Simplifying, we have 90 plus 0 0.1 times 90 is equal to 9. 90 plus 9 is equal to $99. So after the drop of 10% and then the subsequent gain of 10%, the stock price is now $99. But remember, it started at $100, and therefore the stock price is still down $1. To find the percent that it's down, we take the change of $1 and divide by the starting stock price of $100. And 1 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.01, which is equal to 1%. So now we know if a stock price drops 10% and then gains 10%, the stock price, regardless of the starting price, will still be down 1%. Again, I used the stock price of $100 just because it was easier to work with, but this would be true for any starting stock price. I hope you found this helpful.